Oh, Carl. I think you're gonna have to run the shop for an hour or two. I'm really not feeling well in my tummy. Who knew that eating steak Philly sandwiches for every meal of the day for two weeks would have, like, you know, screwed up with your belly? Uh, anyways, I'm gonna bring the portable NES. It might take a while. I've got some cool games, I'm gonna have fun, so, uh... You know, if you have any questions, just think real hard and remember what I taught you, okay? Too obvious. My name is Sean Paul, entrepreneur extraordinaire and sole owner of Midget Pawn. Big money these days is in retro video game collecting. This year's Carl Flarkson, my best friend and my sole employee. We businessmen, so don't you dare call us resellers. Listen to me, my friend. Remember what I taught you. Always be doing something. If you're doing nothing, be doing something. Also, always count your money. And finally, always have attitude. Lots and lots of attitude. Now get up. Go and do something. Put a light on something. People like that. Yes, like that Nintendo 64. Put a light on that. That's a good boy. Hmm. Skate or die, mother f***er. Skate or die. Yo, son! You only got two choices in this life. Skate or die, mother f***er! Hmm. This guy. What do you think he chose? I think it's safe to say he chose skate, because, you know, there's a sequel. What about this guy? Did you think he chose to die? Food for thought. Brap, brap. When I saw that N64 that glows in the dark, the first words that came to my mind were... Oh. My. God! How about 20 bucks? 40? 60? 200! Tubular! The man with the plan to save the planet. 200 bucks for an N64 that glows in the dark. I mean, 200 bucks for an N64 that glows in the dark. I'm dumb. Oh. Hello, Carl. I really have a bummer here. Because uh, you know how it goes. My mom is using my Super Mario Bros. cartridge, the original one from the 80s. 
and uh, she's bringing me all kinds of bad luck using my cartridge. You know how it goes, eh? So, uh, it would really be nice if you've got another Super Mario Bros. cartridge. So I could leave her this one and just, you know, keep mine off of her evil eye influence. That would be awesome. You know, Mom, I don't bother you when you're cooking my meal and washing my clothes. So, why do you need to play with my stuff? Uh, when is this gonna be on TV? Because I want to make sure she watches it. She's gonna be so proud. Uh. What is that? There's a dual cartridge. You just use one of your magic trick again, eh? Wow. I think I could take care of two problems with just one cartridge. This way I can leave this one to my mom and keep my Duck Hunt and my Super Mario Bro from me. So, this way, uh, no bad luck for me ever again. Yeah, I think this would be perfect. So, uh, how much for this cartridge? There's two game on one. Let's say, uh, 50? Yeah, yeah, two games on one cartridge. Uh, I would go, uh, and there's a booklet. Okay, so that's uh, 80 for both. Fine? Cool. You've done a great deal of good today, my friend. You better take care of yourself. I can't wait to see the look on my mom's face when I show her this. <laughs> hey, plumber in the dock sharing the same cartridge. What up with that? <laughs> A cartridge with one game weighs about one pound. I wonder how much a cartridge with all the 800 NES games would weigh. I bet it's in the millions. No, dozens of millions. Uh. Once again, the world was saved and my colon was cleansed. Sean Paul's back! Sean Paul's back! Ah, Carl! Good morning, Carl! Or do I mean good afternoon? Ah, I feel good like I just got a million blowjobs. So, did anybody come in today? Alright. You know what this means, huh? More steak sandwiches. Alright! Mm mm mm.